Hello and welcome everyone. So before going into the deep about the microservices, first we will try to understand some common terminology. So first word which we are going to understand is event driven architecture. So event driven architecture we hear, hear these terms at many places whenever we see that we wanted to achieve a decoupling between two different services. So what we do is we introduce a event bus can be a Kafka, RabbitMQ or uh, EMS. What this event bus will work is you publish an event or you push an event to the event bus and there will be a subscriber. So in this particular case, this microservice 1 doesn't need to be aware about microservice 2, 3, 4. Any particular microservice can publish an event at any particular microservice. If that is registered as a subscriber of that event bus, will be able to listen to those particular events. So events are used as a way of establishing the communication between different microservices, right? So EDA is asynchronous event based communication, which is little bit different from what we see the synchronous communication, like two different applications, which are making a gRPC connections, or they are talking to one another using the rest APIs or SOAP based services. So event driven architecture is introduced whenever we need the asynchronous behavior in the application asynchronous means you trigger an event and then it's like a fire and forget not a request and reply request and reply is like you send a request then immediately you need a reply back for that particular request it's a fire and forget you per send a particular event to be sent to a particular microservice which you are not aware you just send it to the event service bus now the other microservices who are listening to that event service will listen to that particular event and make the change in the state so initially the state was state one you send an event to the EMS and that state will be changed by other microservice, right? So what is EDA? EDA or event driven architecture. One of the first thing you learn and read about lot EDA about is it is introducing loose coupling in your architecture. So microservice doesn't need to know about each other. Such system doesn't need to know about each other and application doesn't need to know about each other. This is often a strong guiding force to implement EDA when you have architecture where services are independent. They don't, don't need to know about each other. Then you can just put a event bus. This kind of event bus can be a different tools. Underlying tools can be used. Okay. So EDA is a simple term, but we just need to make a particular use case before using it in a particular service. So it's an event. Event can be anything that will change the state later once the event is processed and it's purely asynchronous. So sometime like in the business processing, some particular action has ha triggered from the UI. Now that action will flow from different microservices and a lot of different updates will be happening. So you, you wanted to, you will be just getting initially 202 that request has been accepted. But now later a lot of processing will be happening on that request and you will be getting this asynchronous event later through the web socket on the UI. Because it's not like you send a request and you got a reply. It's a fire and forget and on the asynchronous over the time you will get the response from that service. So this is an event driven architecture or event driven system with the help of different microservices.